intercept, but don't shoot. Ever since the United States Air Force top brass issued this order in 1948, American pilots have been mockingly defied by the unidentified flying objects that frequently invade the airspace of the United States as though on peaceful missions of exploration. Why hasn't the Air Force authorized its pilots to shoot these mysterious invaders down? Fear of extraterrestrial reprisal? I don't think so. Diplomatic protests from the unknown power that possesses the biggest secret of our times? I don't think so. Technological awe dictated by ignorance? Again, I do not think so. A finally deliberate deceit dictated by circumstances, and I believe that that is the proper and final answer. I believe that when the United States Air Force issues a statement that they are not studying unidentified flying objects, they are telling the truth. I believe that when the United States Air Force issues a statement that unidentified flying objects do not represent a threat to the national security, they are telling the truth. And all the ufologists across the world claim, cover up, cover up. They're telling the truth. And they're not covering up anything. They're just not telling you that the technology belongs to us. At some future date, it will be used to promulgate the illusion of an extraterrestrial threat. At which time... The nations of the world will be made to get down on their knees and beg for the coming together under a one-world government for who speaks for planet Earth? Does anybody have an answer to that question? And in the face of such an external threat, would not all humanity realize that we are all the same, and would it not be in all of our interest to come together as one in order to face that threat? Now, lest you think I've gone batty, ladies and gentlemen, I have just quoted to you the exact words verbatim of Ronald Reagan during his presidency as he stood upon a stage with Mikhail Gorbachev pledging that the military might of the Soviet Union and the United States of America would come together at some future date in the face of an extraterrestrial invasion to repel them from the earth. Good night. And God bless you all. I'm William Cooper. Ladies and gentlemen, we have been bombarded lately with a plethora of extraterrestrial alien claims, uh, supposed uh, abductions, uh, phony government documents, a comet coming toward the Earth with a mysterious spaceship accompanying it, larger than the earth itself, hollow, and sending out warning messages as it gets closer. And I could go on and on and on. What is going on? And who is bringing it about? And what is its purpose? Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be exploring some of the things that are being perpetrated upon us, and uh, we're going to try to answer some of those questions, and some of those answers are just going to boggle your mind. Don't go away. I'll be right back. Mm -hmm. 